by the 70s, Mary Quant was in her heyday and every young girl wanted to be like her and to look like her and act like her. So Mary uh, was canny. She was famous for making daisy dolls with a toy manufacturer called Model Toys, modelled on Cindy, or you might know Barbie. The daisy doll was named after, of course, the famous logo, which was on all of Mary Quant's branding wore Mary Quant's clothes and the clothes themselves that the dolls wore were made in the studio of Mary Quant. Beside me I have Havoc who was Daisy's rebel younger sister. Havoc is so much cooler, she's my absolute favourite. She rocks a jumpsuit, rides a motorbike, you'll find her under the water fighting octopuses, she's a spy, she's a detective, she's gun wielding vigilante and she is definitely the rebel, rocking a kind of Mary Quant bob hairdo, Vidal Sassoon style. She came, comes on the scene in 1973, but it was only around for two years. And by 1975, she's off the market. I don't really understand why, because I think she um, definitely captures the attitude of Mary Quant, a lot more so than perhaps the Daisy doll does. Um, and she epitomises for me the idea of individuality and the kind of feminism, although Mary Quant wouldn't talk about herself being a feminist, but of thinking of the women's movements of the time, she epitomises individuality, freedom and attitude.